Hey, what's up everyone? Daniel Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the NASCAR Next Gen Camry. We're going to do a stage 5 shift in tune, stage 6 shift in tune. We're going to look for a live racing setup and we're going to do a review on the car as well. When you have this car 100% maxed out, your nitrous goes all the way to the left. Final drive down to 2.0 and tire pressure on 25. No, wait a second. 8 PSI, tire pressure on 8 PSI. And that's gonna give us a dyno time of a 6.912, 6.912 on the dyno. Huge shout out to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. I'm using his account today to make this video since I don't have this maxed out on my account. Link to his channel in this video's description. So to drive this car, we are gonna try to get a perfect launch, almost instantly shift into second gear, hit your nitrous on third, all the other shifts right before the red line. So it's a very easy car to drive overall. And this is a very fast shifting car. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, and that's it. Five gears very quickly. I mean, it gets through those gears so fast, it's crazy. There we ran a 6.882, not bad. Now we're going to set this baby up on stage five and do a stage five shift in tune. Then we'll move on to the live racing setup and review. So when you have all your parts on stage five, this is the way we're going to tune it. We're going to put our nitrous all the way down to the left. Final drive down to 2.0 and tires at 8 PSI. Now, if you have the tires at 25, you're going to get a little bit higher Evo and a better dyno time. But for me, it seems to run better with the tires down at eight, even though the dyno looks better and stuff on 25, but you can try both ways if you want. So the car is gonna drive exactly the same way, but it is gonna perform slightly different. We're gonna do an early shift into second, slightly after launch, nitrous in third, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go, second. Third in nitrous, fourth gear, fifth gear, and that's all she wrote. We'll just let it run out in fifth, right? There we go, right across the finish line. What time did we get? And we got about an 8.837. The last run was an 8.837. So hey, not too bad on stage five with 1,959 Evo and 698 on the performance point. So let me go look and see if I can find a live racing setup for this bad boy and we'll be right back. All right, so we did find what might work okay for a live racing setup. So let's check that out. So we're going to go ahead and set our engine back to stock. Turbo, stage 3. Intake, stage 3. Nitrous, stage 3. Body, stage 3. Tire, stage 3. Transmission is on stage 4. And that gives us 645 on the uh, performance points and 1086 on the Evo. So this will probably be an okay live racing tune. If you've already upgraded the car, go ahead and try it out. See how it works. We got the nitrous all the way to the left. Final drive, 2.70 in tires at 26 PSI. And we got a 53 and a 47 up top. And that gives us a dyno of a 12.471. And we don't really want to run faster than our dyno because this is a low performance point high Evo tune. So this should probably put you around the 12.4 ish lobby. Now, if this tune works, it will allow you to win live races without beating the dyno time and never get pushed into faster and faster lobbies. These type of low performance point high Evo tunes always let your car stay in the same lobby, which is what we want for live racing. But bottom line is we're going to do a really standard shift pattern on this. Okay, three, two, one, let go. Second and nitrous, third gear, fourth gear fifth gear and that's all she wrote very standard shift pattern on the low performance point high evo tunes at least most of the time normally we don't even have to do any weird shifts or crazy shifts then we got a 12.465 last one was 12.463 this is not my account this is my buddy asho speeds of the count so i can't really take it into live racing and test it but i can make these shift pattern videos for you but 90 percent of the time this type of tune performs very well in live racing, except for some of the weird cars. But if you've already upgraded the car, set it up like this and give it a try and see if it works. If it does, this car will get a really nice lobby advantage and it can win live races without beating the dyno. 
So now we're going to do a little review on this car, and it seems pretty nice overall. We did get the car for free out of a showdown. So if you did end up getting this car, is it worth upgrading? So this car will beat Dino by a little bit, which is nice. It's very fast, guys. It's very, very fast. It's got a top speed of around 319 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in like 0 0.4 something, 0 to 100 and 0 0.7 something. So the acceleration's great. The top speed is decent. It's it runs an 8.6 something maxed out if you shift it just perfectly. So it's a very fast car. It performs good on stage five. It performs good on stage six. It's probably going to do halfway decent at live racing. So overall, I think it's a, a very nice car. It's probably not one of the best cars in the game, but pretty darn good in general. I like it. If you get enough parts on the car, it will beat all of the bosses in the game. It'll beat Shaxx, it'll beat Tempest 1, Tempest 2, Tempest 3, no problem. I mean, it's a very nice car, guys. Very nice car. It should do the job for pretty much anything you throw it at. Live racing, not 100% sure, but I have a feeling it'll do okay at live racing, but I can't guarantee it. So you can always try that tune I showed you and see if it works on this particular car. But I think that wraps this video up. Do me a favor. I always make videos to try and help you guys out. So help me out. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Maybe go over to my other YouTube channels and subscribe to them as well. We got one for a game called War Robots. We got one for Danny Lightning Science Tech where I make short two or three minute interesting videos. And you can find a link to those down in this video's description along with some other cool stuff. And don't forget to check out Asho Speed the King on YouTube. I was using his account today, so a big thank you to Asho. Link to him in the description as well. If you really want to help support the channel, there's a PayPal link in the description, or there's a thank you button or a join button down below the video. That kind of stuff helps the channel get what it needs to keep running and all that good stuff. All the channel members out there, thank you guys so much. Everybody who donates every once in a while, thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all. I think that wraps this video up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lighten it out. Have an awesome day. See ya.